Hello everyone, I am Priyanka. Now I am going to explain about black box testing, which is a part of testing strategies. Testing is a process of execution of a program with the intention of finding errors. This is one of the most important phases of software development. There are different strategic approaches towards software testing like black box testing, white box testing, validation testing and system testing. Different testing techniques are appropriate at different points of time. Now I am going to explain about black box testing. Black box testing is also known as behavioral testing. It is a method of software testing that examines the functionality of an application without peering into its internal structures of workings. For an example, a tester without knowledge of the internal structures of the website tests a web page by using a browser, providing inputs and verifying the outputs against the expected outcome. Black box testing is also known as data driven testing, input output based testing and specific based testing. Black box testing is a method in which the internal structure of the item is being tested without knowing to the tester. These tests can be functional or non-functional, usually they are functional. Use end user, tester and developer can perform black box testing and a person without having any knowledge about the output can also perform black box testing. This method is applicable to the following levels of software testing. Integration testing, system testing, acceptance testing. The higher the level and the hence the bigger and more complex the box, the more black box testing method come into use. There are different black box testing techniques. Following are some techniques that can be used for designing a black box testing. Equivalence partitioning. It is a software test design technique that involves dividing input values into valid and invalid partitions and selecting respective values from each partition as a test data. And going to boundary value analysis. It is a software test design technique that involves determination of boundary for input values and selecting values that are at the boundaries and just inside or outside of the boundaries as test data. And the last one curves effect graphing. It is a software test design that involves identifying the cases and effects producing a cause effect graph and generating test cases accordingly. There are different types of black box testing, functional testing, non-functional testing, regression testing. Now we look into functional testing. This is a black box testing type related to functional requirements of a system. It is done by software testers. Whereas about non-functional testing, this is also a type of black box testing is not related to a testing of a specified functionality, but non-functional requirements such as performance, scalability and usability. And the last one, regression testing. Is regression testing is done after code fixes, upgrades or any other system maintenance to check the new code has not affected the existing code. Advantages of black box testing Tester need not to know the programming languages or how the software has been implemented. Tests can be designed as soon as the specifications are completed. Tests can be conducted by a body independent from the developers allowing for an objective perspective and the avoidance of developer bias. This can be done from a user's point of view and will help in exposing in the specification. Disadvantages of using black box testing. Tests can be redundant if the software designer or developer has already run a test case. Only a small number of possible inputs can be tested and many program parts will be left untested. Without clear specifications, which is the situation in many projects, test cases will be difficult to design. And thank you for watching my video.